went to see Kiss in Anaheim and the difference there was that in California at the time you didn't get kids because you're not allowed to drink alcohol until you're 21 so they'd be smoking lots of uh, you know, herbal kind of substances so that would be the only difference was it was probably a lot more chilled out than you can get here. I think here you get one of the reasons I don't like the huge events is, is uh, you just get people that are a little bit too crazy. Um, but uh, no, I think you make more friends. Well, I certainly did um, in, at American gigs. You just get more chatty with people. Whereas here, I suppose, you know, you're with your group of mates and that's it. You don't tend to kind of uh, socialise as much as you do there. Do you actually start thinking I'm going to be in a band? Um, well, 18 months ago. It was, it was only then? Yeah, well, it was Sean that came up to me, because I started, because I've, I've just followed music, I love live music, so I was going to a lot of open mics, and then, um, um, and looking a lot on uh, Facebook and YouTube and all the rest of it, and Facebook, somebody had put something about um, a Hitchhiker or Sean, it might have been Nathan, um, so I clicked on this link, and I think I heard Earthbound. I loved it and I got in touch with Sean I just said, you know, when you're next playing I want to see you. And I think he'd only just kind of met up with Anna Mason um, and they'd, they'd kind of decided they might collaborate a bit together and they were, they were doing a couple of shows, they did the Worcester Arts Workshop um, and they did the Rowing Club, something for them um, and then we were at the Mars Bar for one of the open mics one night because I was just following them around and supporting them and, and kind of the one that realises when the song's over and kind of Claps and, uh, and yeah, he just asked me one, one night, literally, um, just, yeah, about 18 months ago, and I'd had far too much Guinness to drink, and he said, uh, he said, oh, you know, we need Hitchhiker to be a band, and uh, it sounds so much better and so much fuller, and uh, do you play anything? And I said, well, I used to play the violin and the trumpet, but I don't anymore. And he said, well, if you can play the violin, you can play the bass, so get yourself a bass and join the band. So, as I said, I'd had a bit too much Guinness, and I went, yeah, okay. So, um, went online the next day, and got myself a PV, and, uh, and started learning to play. So, um, the first one that I did with them would have been open mic at the Morgan, with Tyler Massey. Um, and I think I'd been playing for about seven weeks, so you can imagine it was very dong, dong, dong. But I think it's important sometimes, it, it doesn't particularly, it does matter how well you play, but also part of the actual getting out there and doing it in front of people. Once you can do that, I think then you can kind of do anything really constantly. Because of uh, Declan, um, he said to me, you know, you've got to sing, you've got to sing as well. So I've been having vocal coaching from um, Givy, and uh, so I started doing a bit of that as well. Life is so short, isn't it, that if you if you want to be out doing stuff, you ought to be out doing it. So, so, it's, uh, so I went and got myself, got my bass, and then um, started the singing. And then again, Dex said, "Well, you know, you should really be playing your violin again and your trumpet again." So I got my husband's old trumpet, so I've been practicing that. Oh, was um, your husband a trumpet player as well? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right, and okay. he plays, he plays guitar. He's a, he's a fantastic, fantastic guitar player. But only my garage walls know about him. So it's a shocking tragedy. He has. He used to be in something to do with cats, something or other, in, um, in college, because he was in uh, the Worcester College years ago, um, many years ago. Um, so he wasn't a bad man, but he, he doesn't do it anymore. It's a real shame because he's very, very good. And why was that? Do I don't, he doesn't like people. Right. So I think he's, he's, <laughs> Just generally. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, I think he's been, he's been in a lot of bands, and I think um, certainly, you know, college and he seems to, um, the way that he looks, he kind of tends to attract the wrong sort of people, I think, so he's just, he holds up in the garage and plays there. Has he got strong opinions on this? Yeah, it's got to be heavy metal. Yeah, anything else is a bit, uh, he, he quite, he quite likes some of the hitchhiker stuff. He can tolerate it, but I think he'd much rather be, you know, doing the same thing really. What was India to be around 18 years ago? Was that the first time you'd ever really wanted to be in a band. Yeah. It just completely out of blue. Yeah, well it's just Sean saying, well you like the music, then you can be the bass player. And I think he was as surprised as I was when I said yes. Um, and it is very similar to violin, 
extremely similar, it's just that the strings are the other way around. And, uh, and obviously it's down here rather than up there. So, um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. And the, the first bass I got, um, I went on to um, Pre-Loved or something and um, got my bass off this guy. I'd, I'd been told by Brian Hoggard which bass to get. And, um, and this guy had actually inherited this bass. He didn't play, he just inherited it from this uncle that had died early or something. And I thought, oh, what a shame, it's just sat there not doing anything. So, uh, so I've got that one now, and then um, I've got my acoustic, my acoustic electric, the AB10 Washburn, which is um, quite lovely. And one of the reasons that I moved to Worcester in the first place was that, um, you know, we were here for a day, and we did, you know, we did the shopping sort of bit, but the music scene in Worcester even then was such that there was music playing in the pub, so I just thought, this is great. Um, and all sorts of music, you know. And, um, people with accordions and great big massive double basses and stuff like that playing in backyards and pubs and I just thought that was absolutely amazing because it's such it's such a good environment you get people that are happy they're there doing what they want to be doing um, they tend to, musicians are, tend to be the ones that I've met so far tend to be really nice people um, they help each other out so it's, it's a welcoming environment um, and I, I like the entertainment aspect of it, you know, it's music, it's being played, played live in front of you, um, and it's, that's neat, you know, that's being part of something rather than just, you know, oh, sat at home in front of the telly, I don't know, having a cup of tea. It's, certainly the larger venues that you've got and festival venues where you can actually dance around and have a really, really good time. Um, even the smaller venues, you can dance around and have a really, really good time. So that's what I like about it. I think it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and that's a supportive environment. What's your desire to actually, if you were going to join a band, to join a rock band? Could you actually join more of a, a soft and melodic band than, yeah. than, than hard rock? I think. Yeah, very much so, yeah. Um, I don't know, because perhaps, perhaps 20 years ago, I'd be jumping around and, and, and now, you know, when I've had like a couple of glasses of wine and I'm in my lounge jumping around, I'm like a total rock star. But in actual public, I'm quite a lot more restrained now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I think we've got both as well. Because I've got Hitchhiker, which is the, the melodic kind of acoustic-y stuff. Although we are getting a bit more rocky on the quiet. Um, but then also with Space Between, with Declan, you know, he's very supportive of what I want to do. So we've been kind of working on some other stuff. Hiker will be doing um, fundraising for, I don't know if it's breast cancer care or cancer research. One of the reasons I've had my hair all cut is um, one of my friends has just developed breast cancer and she's, she picked her wig before all her hair dropped out. So she chose this wig. So I said to her, right, well, that's a laugh. I'm going to have exactly the same hairstyle as, as your wig while you're going through the treatment. So I had, it got really long by then, so I had all this blonde hair chopped off and I've got this, this now. And it's kind of, it's, it's really to help promote that we're going to be doing this gig, which I think is July or August, but that's going to be a fundraising charity thing only. Um, you know, it's not, it's not for us. Um, I think the, the only thing that I'd be wanting to say is that will be advertised on Facebook and on the Hitchhiker page. And then um, anything that space between do, then that will be. We, I think we've got we've got an email address. I don't think we've got a web page yet. I'm not very good at anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, anything that we do, which is um, it's <laughs> it's always uh, kind of last minute. Oh yeah, we'll do that. Um, but yeah, we we'll just put that in Facebook. But the, the, yeah, the one that I really want to bring up is, is the, uh, the cancer research one. But that, that I'm sure that's going to be July probably. So. Um, I'll just let you know a bit closer to the time. Do you think that this area has got something special, or do you reckon every area has probably got something similar? No, I think this area for sure. And you know, I've lived in a lot of places. You know, I've moved around a lot, and um, I lived in Israel for a bit. You know, it's just, it's, and certainly this area just seems to be very, very strong musically. It seems to have some fantastic musicians. Yeah, I get blown away. I really do. I just some of the bands I've seen. Amazing, um, but the festivals are great. I think the 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 Worcester Music Festival. I'd have that 
probably more central if I could have my own way because last year and well the last few years you've, you've got this itinerary haven't you and you've, you you know you're just trying to be here there and everywhere so but then you do find these beautiful venues you know when you're playing something and you're you're learning it you've got to concentrate so much that you forget everything else don't you so uh, so it's 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 good for for relaxing really do you write no I don't not yet no and um and I probably can because I'm quite you know I can write and I've got quite good uh, quite good knowledge really of quite a few things so really I should um but I've not you know I'll do that when I've got some time to perhaps play with it a bit but um, as I say, I'm still really learning the bass. I'm still trying to learn the violin and, and remember the trumpet and everything. So it's, uh, um, I tend to let Deck and Anna and Sean get on with the writing. But I will at some point give it a go. Yeah. Local gigs, it's really, it's, it's looking in the Slack magazine. That's my first point of call. Um, or looking on Facebook events, what's coming up. If I can get away for the night, if I'm, you know, given a pass out that night. So yeah. just by finding out what's on really, I mean, you've got your slap mac, haven't you? Um, chalkboards outside of pubs yeah. saying, you know, we've got so-and-so. Or you'd see a band at an open mic and they'd say, oh, we're playing at such and such. And I'd be thinking, yes, I want to see you again. I will go to that. The weird thing for me is that, because I just think everyone's the same age as me. And, uh, and then you'll find out that the bass player from Answer Back is 19 tomorrow, and you think, <laughs> and then of course you've got, you know, one of the people that I dearly love is um, Gary Jones, and I think he's just, he's a fantastic guy, um, so yeah, you just, you just make friends with all these people from different generations, you know, and it's really good. We had a great party at my house um, last year, because um, obviously I was meeting all these people and, and Dave, my husband, doesn't socialise. So I just said to him, I'd really like to meet some of these people. So we just did a, a little thing. Nathan came, but I got quite a, a few musicians over. Um, and just also, you know, friends as well. And we sort of had this party from about three o'clock in the afternoon. And it just kind of went on and on and on. And it ended up with Deck getting out the keyboard and... Um, stuff was coming out of the garage, and, and you know all these instruments came out, and uh, and, and the lads just ended up all jamming. And it was it was so good. But again, that was just you know we had from age four to uh, <clears throat> don't know all mixing together and just having a wonderful time.